Welcome back guys. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 6.5 circles and triangles. 6.5 represents chapter 6, section 5 of the person, A-level maths, pure maths, year 1, textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. First diagram. I've got a circle drawn. I've got three points labelled on the circumference of the circle. A triangle is drawn within the circle and the centre of the circle is labelled. Now this circle is called the circumcircle of the triangle. This centre of the circumcircle is called the circumcentre of the triangle. Second diagram. I've got a circle drawn. I've got the points P, Q and R labelled on the circumference of the circle. A triangle P, Q, R is drawn within the circle. And number one, if the angle P, Q, R is 90 degrees, then Q lies on a circle with diameter P, R. Number two, the angle in a semicircle is always a right angle. Third diagram. I've got a circle drawn, three points A, B and C labelled on the circumference of the circle. To find the centre of the circle, given three points A, B and C on the circumference, number one, we must find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the two different chords. So over here, I've selected the chord A to B and the chord B to C. Here's my first perpendicular bisector of the chord A to B. Here's my second perpendicular bisector of the chord B to C. I need to find the equation of the two perpendicular bisector. Number two, we must find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the two different perpendicular bisectors. This point of intersection, ladies and gents, using our knowledge from 6.4, represents the centre of the circle. We know that the perpendicular bisector of any chord on a circle passes through the centre. So we're going to use this knowledge in order to answer two exam style questions. Here is exam style question one. The points R minus 2, 1, S4, 3 and T10 minus 5 lie in the circumference of a circle C. Find the equation for the circle. What an absolute beauty of a question. Now in my previous videos, I did say that whenever you get questions about circles, it is very useful to set up a diagram. Once you've got your diagram set up, it becomes so much more easier to find the solution. So using this information, let's set up our circle. So here is my circle. I've got the points R, S and T on the circumference of the circle. So R would be roughly over here. S would be roughly over here. And T would be roughly over here. Okay. Now, to find the equation of the circle, I need two key facts. Number one, I need the centre of the circle. And number two, I need the radius of the circle. So let's start off by finding the centre of the circle. Now, given three points, how do we find the centre of the circle? Well, we need to find the equation of two different perpendicular bisectors of two different chords. Once we've got these two equations, we can solve them simultaneously to find the point of intersection. And that point of intersection is the centre of the circle. So now what I'm going to do is use two different chords. So the two different chords that I'll pick is RS and RT. So RS is this chord over here and RT is this chord over here. Let's draw the perpendicular bisectors to each of these chords. So here is my first perpendicular bisector. That's the perpendicular bisector to the chord RS. Here is my second perpendicular bisector. That is the perpendicular bisector to the chord RT. The point of intersection of these two perpendicular bisectors represents the centre of the circle. So let's call this line L1 and this line L2. Right, so we're going to find the equation of L1 and then find the equation of L2. So let's start off with equation of L1. To find the gradient of L1, I need to first find the gradient of the line RT. So gradient RT is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we've got minus 5 minus 1 over 10 minus minus 2. This gives me minus 6 over 12, which simplifies to minus 1 over 2. So the gradient of the line L1 is the negative reciprocal of minus 1 over 2. 
it would just be 2. So m, the gradient of L1, is 2. We now need to find the midpoint of the coordinates R and T. So the midpoint is given by sum of the x-coordinates divided by 2, sum of the y-coordinates divided by 2. Minus 2 plus 10 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. 1 plus minus 5 is minus 4, divided by 2 is minus 2. I can label this coordinate x1, y1. Now I can use y minus y1 equal m in bracket x minus x1 to find the equation of L1. Let's substitute the values in. So I've got y minus minus 2 equal 2 in bracket x minus 4. Let's rearrange this, write it in the form y equal mx plus c. So that there, ladies and gents, is the equation of L1. Let's find the equation of L2. So equation of L2. Now to find the gradient of L2, we need the gradient of the line RS. So gradient RS is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 3 minus 1 over 4 minus minus 2. This gives me 2 over 6. This simplifies to 1 over 3. Now, ladies and gents, the gradient of L2 is the negative reciprocal of 1 over 3. That would be minus 3. So M, the gradient of L2 this time, is minus 3. Okay, we know that L2 passes through the midpoint of these two coordinates. We are now going to find the midpoint of these two coordinates using sum of x divided by 2, sum of y divided by 2. So minus 2 plus 4 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, divided by 2 is 2. We can label this coordinate x1, y1. Right, so now we're going to find the equation of L2. We substitute the values in. So I've got y minus 2 equal minus 3 in bracket x minus 1. Rearrange and write it in the form y equal mx plus c. Okay, so that there, ladies and gents, is the equation of L2. Now we want to work out where these two lines intersect. In other words, we want to find the coordinate of the centre of the circle. So we're going to solve simultaneous equations. I've got equation 1, y equal 2x minus 10, and equation 2, y equal minus 3x plus 5. So we're solving simultaneous equations. Because both of these equations represent y, we can equate them. This leads on to 2x minus 10 equal to minus 3x plus 5. So if I rearrange, I get 5x equal 15, hence x is equal 3. I can substitute x equal 3 into equation 1 or equation 2 to find the y coordinate. So if I substitute into equation 1, I get 2 times 3 is 6, minus 10 is minus 4. So the y coordinate is minus 4. Hence, the center of the circle has coordinates 3, minus 4. I can label this on my diagram. Right, we know that the general equation of a circle center A, B and radius R is given by x minus a in bracket squared plus y minus b in bracket squared equal r squared. So I'm going to substitute my center into the general equation of a circle. If I do this, I end up with the following result. x minus 3 in bracket squared plus um, y plus 4 in bracket squared equal r squared. Since the y coordinate is minus 4, over here we put plus 4. Okay, now, to find the radius of the circle, what we need to now do is take either the coordinate for r, s or t and substitute it into this equation. Rearrange and work out r. Okay, so I'll take the coordinate for 
R, in other words, capital R, so minus 2, 1, and I'll substitute that into this equation. So capital R has coordinates minus 2, 1. When x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 1. So we have open bracket, minus 2, minus 3, close bracket squared, plus open bracket 1 plus 4, close bracket squared, equal r squared. So that there would be 25 plus that there would be 25 equal r squared. So we have that r squared is equal to 50. And so r is the positive square root of 50. Remember r is the radius, it is a length. A length is always positive. So we take the positive square root of 50 and we get 5 root 2, as I said. Right, so now I can write the complete equation of the circle. So the complete equation of the circle is x minus 3 in bracket squared plus y plus 4 in bracket squared equal to 5 root 2 in bracket squared. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 1. Here is exam style question 2. The points are minus 4, 3, S7, 4 and T8 minus 7 lie on the circumference of a circle. Part A, show that RT is the diameter of the circle. Part B, find the equation of the circle. Let's start off by setting up a diagram. So we have a circle, and we know that R, S, and T lie on the circumference of the circle. So R would be roughly over here. S would be roughly over here. And T would be roughly over here. We want to show that RT is the diameter of the circle. So RT is the diameter of the circle. Let's form a triangle. As you can see. Now we know that if angle RST is equal to 90 degrees, then the point S lies on a circle with diameter RT. Then S lies on a circle with diameter r t. In other words, we want to show that the triangle RST is a right angle triangle. To do this, we need to show that this triangle satisfies the Pythagoras theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember, the Pythagoras theorem is only valid for right angle triangles. Okay, let's show that this over here satisfies the Pythagoras theorem. First of all, r s squared. Now, r s squared is calculated by taking the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. So we have 7 minus minus 4, which is 7 plus 4, squared plus 4 minus 3, squared. And if we put this into our calculator, we end up with 122. Okay, so I've got R S squared. Now I'm going to calculate R T squared. R T squared is equal to change in X squared. So we have 8 minus minus 4. So that's 8 plus 4 squared plus change in Y squared minus 7 minus 3 squared. Okay, so if I put this into my calculator, I get 244. So I've got RS squared, I've also got RT squared. Now I'm going to work out ST squared. So ST squared, again, change in X squared. So we have 8 minus 7 squared plus minus 7 minus 4 squared. If I put this into my calculator, I get 122. So we see that RS squared, which is 122, plus ST squared, which is 122, is actually equal to 244, which is precisely RT squared. Since this triangle over here satisfies the Pythagoras theorem, we have that triangle RST is a right angle triangle.
triangle. Therefore, uh, RT is the diameter of the circle. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part A of the question. Let's move on to part B. Find the equation of the circle. Now, we know that RT squared is equal to 244. So the diameter is equal to RT, which is the square root of 244. So in third form, this would be 2 root 61. Now, the radius r is equal to half times the diameter so a half times 2 root 61 that's just root 61 i've got the radius of the circle now i'm going to find the center of the circle i need the midpoint of these two coordinates so minus 4 plus 8 is 4 divided by 2 is just 2 uh, 3 plus minus 7 is minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. So that there is the centre of the circle and that there is the radius of the circle. So the equation of the circle, therefore, would be open bracket x minus 2 close bracket squared plus open bracket y plus 2 close bracket squared equal to root 61 whole squared. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question two and this teaching video. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post teaching videos.